Hi everyone out there in internet marketing land. This is Layla coming to you from workwithtobyandlayla.com and I wanted to do this training video for you guys because I was asked this question quite a few times over the weekend and you know that if I get asked a question I want to show you all how to do it so that everyone has the same knowledge. We're all about sharing value. So a lot of people had came to our blog over the weekend and had seen the pop-up uh, web form on our blog. If you haven't been there yet, the address is workwithtobyandlayla.com. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my computer screen. We're going to go through step by step how you can insert a pop-up web form into your blog and uh, show you exactly how it's done. Hey guys, so this is my laptop screen and I've logged into my Aweber account and then all you do is you click web forms and then your list of web forms is going to come up um, either I, I'm going to go with one that I've already created but you would go into create web form um, but just for time's sake uh, this is the one that I've already already done so Aweber has some fancy new web forms that they are um, they're letting us use now so this is the web form that you're going to see that's right on our blog um, and how you get it to be a pop-up is quite simple. So you create the you create the web form. Um, there's a bunch of templates that you can use, different ones, and then we go into advanced. So right here, we're going to see the type, and you can either have an inline, which means that it's going to be built right into your blog. So if you have uh, a web form that's going to appear all the time down the side, that would be an inline. Uh, a popover. And that is simply where it just comes up right up. The, the light box is the one that I use on the blog. Uh, it just makes everything dark in the background. And then the pop-up. So the pop-up is actually a separate window. And as you can see there, it says it is sometimes blocked by browsers. So I tend to stay away from that. So either the pop-over or the light box. And then what you do is there's a couple different options that you can, you can use with the light box. So you can have it so it only ever displays once for each person. You can have it so it appears every certain amount of days. Or you can have it always display. So I choose always display. And then you can have a delay. So you can, if you want it to maybe pop up 30 seconds in to when they're on your website. Um, I like to keep it 10, under 15 because the average attention span of an internet browser is usually about 16 seconds. So you really want to capture them right away. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, you just you just choose the type, and then you choose the type, and then you choose your options with your advanced options here. So you can you can play around with that, and then basically you just hit save and um, go to your next step going to ask you for some things here. Um, so your thank you page, you can do a custom page if you have, uh, if, if you're using MLM Lead System Pro, um, you can send them to a sales page for that or you can send them to a custom thank you page that you've made. And uh, if they've already subscribed to us, we usually send them to back to our blog. Then you're going to go to step three, install web form, and you just take this script right here and you, what I like to do is I like to put it in the footer. So I'll actually, I'll do that quickly for you guys and just show you uh, what I mean by that. Just in case you don't know. So if you have a blog, a WordPress blog is what we highly, highly recommend. You want to have a self hosted WordPress blog so that all of the content actually belongs to you. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to go to. Editor. So under appearance, you go to editor, and I like to put it in the footer. So you just click the footer. All your codes are going to come up here, um, and I believe mine's right here. So this is this is where I've I've pasted it in. So I just do it right in the footer, usually right at the bottom, so that you know where it is. But I've put some extra things here for uh, blog directories that I've registered for. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So if you guys have any other questions, just feel free to pop a comment 
or uh, send us an email, whatever, however you want to get in touch with us. If you haven't already connected with us on Facebook, that's probably one of the best ways to reach us. Uh, just just uh, just search for Toby Black or Layla Stats, and uh, just give our, our names a Google. If if you ever are trying to find find us or find a way to get in touch with us, just Google Toby and Layla, and there will be a ton of ways for you to reach us. So from Toby and Layla, hopefully this training was informative and you guys got some good value out of it, and everyone's questions that had came to me over the weekend were answered. So from Toby and Layla, see you guys at the top.